our last final of race day one here for the opening round of the 2021 BNL Karting Series season, the 14th season in prospects as the BNL was inaugurated back in 2008. And many great talents have come through these doors. We still have quite a few of them with us today, but also there are those that have decided to make their presence known within the role of honour of the BNL Karting Series. And that, without exception, is also true of DD2 Masters. Here's your starting grid for their, sec their second race of the day, and it is as follows. Rudy Champion taking top honours in the pre-final earlier on today. Once again, we'll line up with uh, Karl Klebort from Belgium. That's the front row. Christoph Adams running under a Dutch licence this weekend. We'll have Ian Getz alongside from Belgium. Tom Dessert and Jonathan Wimor from France. That is row number three. Pritzai from Estonia and Poland's Slava Mimoranski round out the top eight positions on the starting grid. Ahead of Bruno Dos Santos from France and Belgium's Frederick Bakert, a.k.a. Goose, uh, he rounds out the top ten. Uh, Dimitri Ostrovsky starts from 11th, representing Germany. The 599 of Christophe Capitain, who uh, had a technical drama in the first race today, starts from 12th. And Juris Zalaitis has managed to get a bit further up the road and not have a breakdown before they have even gone racing. So this is where, after this, well, anyone wants a fireworks display? Because I'm sure we can oblige. Two more senior road tax heats. But DD2 Masters about to um, have their final race of the day. They'll have two more races tomorrow. So the clerk of the course, the race director, telling them to slow down and split, as they should do. So after this, two more races to go. And then we close out the action here at the Home of Champions. Go silent for a night and then come back tomorrow. So what happens now is we get ready to go racing once again. And the drivers now get going. And it looks like we have had a clean start once again as Christoph Adams was looking up the inside of Carl Clearbot. But Tom Dessert and Ian Gepps, well, Gepps has just absolutely thrown his weight past Christoph Adams on that particular occasion. And Adams now down in fourth position. Tom Dessert trying to go round the outside. Oh, was he trying to take a, a page out of Lewis Gilbert's playbook earlier on uh, just there and then? Because that was... Uh, Rather interesting indeed from Tom Dessert, but he has made some very robust and interesting manoeuvres, let's say, as the two leaders trying to do a breakaway at the moment. So, Champion leading from Clevel, Adams, Dessert, Pritzai, rounding up the top six positions. As they come round, turn 12 to complete lap number one. Champion has a two-tenth of a second advantage over Carl Clearbot as Ian gets ahead of... Oh, now there was nearly a bit of argy-bargy between Dessert and Adams, but Pritzai up the inside of Dessert going through. And Frederick Baker, where has Goose uh, got these wings off from all of a sudden? He's definitely flying his way through the field. Up into P7 ahead of Bruno Dos Santos and Christoph Capitan. Looks like there has been a drama for Slavomir Moransky. From 46 team, he's at the back of the field. As there could be more possibilities of dramas, I think uh, you're going to have some drivers sending it up the inside. Oh, that was close between Wimmel and Capitan going through turn 10. But Capitan kept it planted, but not on this particular occasion because Jonathan Wimmel has got past, but Capitan resurges. Going through turn 12, the pair were side by side. Rudy Champion now still has Karl Klibort not too far behind him. So the 2019 champion in second, the 2020 champion in first. And these drivers, they'll know each other well from last season. 
So Tom Desair drops down to sixth position. Frederick Baker has got Bruno Dos Santos closing in on him, but the leaders still are keeping ahead. As they go through turn number 12, Rudy Champion being hustled now. Carl Clevold is put in the fastest lap of the race, a 54.826 from the 5.10. Into turns one and two. And Champion still holds on. Carl Clevold still in second position. But it's not. It's going to be a case of not if. It's going to be a case of when that change takes place because Ian Gepps is still ahead of Christoph Adams in the battle for third place. Tom Desair has now had Pritz Sai overtake him. Frederick Baker, Bruno Dos Santos, Yuri Solaitis, Christoph Capitan, Jonathan Wemo, Dmitry Ostrovsky, and Slavomir Moransky. All 13 drivers still circulating. I did notice there a little bit sideways from Frederick Baker coming out of turn nine just about 15 or so seconds ago. So the drivers now, the top two, Champion and Clebault, two and a half tenths of a second apart. And there's been no real change in any sort of pendulum swing of momentum because Carl Clebault is trying his level best. He's pushing that cart as huge as possible, but then you look at the battle behind. So you've got Ian Getz, Christoph Adams, Pritz Sai, and unfortunately dropping a little bit further back into the distance is Frederick Baker. Uh, it's not Frederick Baker, that is um, Tom Desair. And Frederick Baker at the moment has been doing personal best after personal best. He's just under a tenth shy of the lap times that. Uh, Tom Destair is putting in, but Ian Gepps now coming under fire from Christoph Adams in the triple five. They go down the start finish line, they go into turns one or two. Adams up the inside of Gepps now retakes uh, third position. So Christoph Adams has not lost any of his strategy calls. He can pull the rabbit out of the hat like a magician at a moment's notice, and that was one of those times. And whenever I've had the pleasure and, well, the honour of speaking to him, I wouldn't say, well, I'd say the pleasure or the company of speaking to him, depending on which way you want to put it. Uh, Christoph Adams, you know, a jovial man, but when he's rather honest, you get this very different looking individual. Um, so, and he says that sometimes I just don't have the speed, but he makes up for it in terms of uh, exuberant experience, let's say. Uh, that's a bit of alliteration for a Saturday afternoon, a double E there. Um, but he now knows where to place the car and he's signaling to those behind. You try and signal to someone behind saying, hey, come on, let's catch up to those two in front. Well, who on who in their right mind is going to listen to you unless they they want to gain something out of it and you be the one that's on the receiving end of the short, short end of the stick? Well, that's dependent on your uh, on your point of view. But Carl Clivell, oh, there's Pritzai up the inside of uh, Ian Getz going through into turn seven. Nice catch by the broadcast crew there. And now Tom Desair is going to be uh, factoring in and possibly thinking of when he can get past Ian Getz. But whilst this has been happening, Christoph Adams is starting to pull a gap. And then there's Ian Getz trying to go defensive on Tom Desair, which works that time going through the right-hander at turn number 10. So we hit half time in this race, six and a half minutes plus an additional lap still to go. And it is still business as usual at the front of the field. Rudy Champion and Carl Clebault leading the way. They are just over two tenths of a second trip of each other. As here goes Tom Desair up the inside of Ian Getz to now retake. Uh, fifth position as then gets returns the favor on the very next corner. Oh brilliant stuff and here comes Goose Watch out Frederick Baker's on a mission and he's trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe, Mano y Mano with the current reigning BNL Karting Series kickoff champion Slava Mimaransky on lap six has unfortunately parked it so this battle now So the good thing is now 
How long will it be? Now, will Carl Clearball look to do the business and try and get past Rudy Champion? The, the biggest thing is, is that the, the results from all four races are definitely, well, the results from the week, uh, from all four races goes towards the weekend result. As, oh, Britt Sai nearly outbreaks himself trying to go bandsawing up the inside of Christoph Adams. And what's more, Christoph Adams saw that coming. Um, so Pritt side just really went absolutely flying into turn seven. That could have been so much worse than what it ended up being. So Pritt side kept it on the tarmac. Moransky is now confirmed as a retirement on lap number six. A real shame for the 2018 Euro Trophy DD2 Masters champion. But now, Carl Clibble senses a little window of opportunity. Might be presenting itself. And here we go. Carl Clibble up the inside of Rudy Champion with plenty of joie de vivre in that overtaking manoeuvre through turn six. So, Carl Clibble wanting to get a little bit of confidence going into tomorrow. They have, let's not forget, another qualifying session tomorrow morning. And that is going to be rather crucial because Carl Clibble in 2019, if people remem remember this, that Carl Clibble had a 100% winning streak in the first eight races of the season. And it was enough to keep him as champion at the end of that year and puts him in place on Team Belgium's squad at Sarno in late October of 2019, along with Christoph Adams. So three and a half minutes to go. Carl Clibble leading proceedings on lap number 11. Rudy Champion on the same chassis machinery. They're both running on the Sudica chassis. Uh, then you've got Christoph Adams and Pritz Sai still battling away over third place. And there is the five and the 501 then they're being followed by Ian Getz and I must be completely honest here to see Frederick Baker outpace um, Tom Dissette I'm very very surprised at that but Tom uh, but Frederick Baker has come on leap and bound to the kickoff and the first two oh now Champion was looking for a move up the inside but could not get past clear ball uh, as long as he's right up his back bumper going into turn six, he might have an opportunity to do so. Oh, Champion looked up the inside. Champion looked up the inside, but Clibble able to keep him ahead, himself ahead, and Champion behind him. Getting towards the last few moments of this race, and then the DD2 Masters drivers will be able to have a little bit of a respite ahead of tomorrow. And in terms of their uh, qualifying session, it will be 10.30 tomorrow morning for DD2 Masters for their qualifying session. So this, plus I would think, on two minutes to go, we'll have this plus possibly another two or three laps. So we're on lap number 13. So yeah, we have been hitting 16 lap race distances so far uh, on a majority of the categories, which includes DD2 and DD2 Masters. Clever still keeping Champion at bay as they go through turn seven into the right hander at eight. So just under 90 seconds to go in this race. Carl Clevort will have this plus two additional laps remaining to keep himself in clear contention for this weekend. But, oh, Champion was within a tenth of uh, Clebol and managed to get through rather quickly. Champion had the run. Now it's time for Carl Clebol to bring back some of those uh, wonderful memories of great racecraft and great overtaking through into turn seven, they go. 
And Clairbort right up close and personal with Champion. Ritzai has now got past Christoph Adams for third position as the leaders make their way through into turn 10. If Carl Clairbort can be within a tenth and a half of Rudy Champion, he's got a chance through into turn 12. We're about to go on to the penultimate lap with 13 seconds still remaining on the clock. Carl Clairbort waiting, biding his time, but he'll have this and another lap to go. And he's got a really good turn of pace going through three and four. And into the right at five, going towards the outside to get the switch back, going through turn six onto the Europe line. That's a great carry there. Carl Clevot, is he going to try and go up the inside? No. Champion closes off the door with this and an, another additional lap remaining. Rudy Champion knew the move was coming, waited for Carl Clevot to stick his nose up alongside the 544 from Piquet's Competition. And that has allowed. Champion to now get that chance of being the first one to see the final lap board. So, Rudy Champion goes on to the 16th and final lap of this race. That's 32 laps completed by these DD2 Masters drivers. Well, all of them. Dimitri Ostrovsky, unfortunately, on lap number 13, has parked the car and the 580 from Germany is out of the race. So Carl Clibbock getting a bit closer in the braking zone through turn seven for the final time through the right hander at eight into the left at nine and then it's down the short blast into the right hander at turn 10. It has been a pretty good office in the pretty good moment in the office at the moment for Rudy Champion because again it is two for two. Rudy Champion, pole position and two wins on the first day of competition. Beating Carl Clibor by just over three tenths. Pritzai takes third place from Estonia in the 501. Christoph Adams in fifth, uh, in fourth place, having got himself up into third. Ian Getz managed to get himself into the sharp end of the grid and also managed a very good solid fifth place finish. Tom Dessert in sixth, ahead of Frederick Baker, who takes a top seven finish, does Goose. Bruno Dos Santos, Jonathan Wimor, Christophe Capitain, Juris Zalaitis, uh, rounding out the 11 that finished the race with Dmitry Ostrovsky retiring on lap 13 and Slavomir Moransky retiring on lap number six.